It seems that Pete Davidson has finally moved on out of his mom's basement. A few years back, the comedian purchased a $1.3 million Staten Island house for his mom, Amy Waters, and was living in the basement up until he purchased his current home earlier this year. Pete upgraded himself into a two bedroom Staten Island skyrise that cost him $1.2 million and boasts views of New York City and plenty of natural light. Today, we're gonna take a look at his New York residences. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Pete Davidson is a comedian, actor, screenwriter, and more who's well known for being on Saturday Night Live. As a cast member on SNL, it's said he earns about 15k to 25k per episode, and he also makes money from his other endeavors. At the time, his estimated net worth is at about $8 million. Recently, Pete's been hogging the headlines due to his new romance with Kim Kardashian. So while he may start spending more time with Kim at her minimalistic Hidden Hills mansion, he does have a crib of his very own. And it's not his mom's basement. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. This one looking at where Pete Davidson calls home. We're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers and we're pretty close, so if you want to help us out and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. As always, hit me up on Instagram if you want to chat and now let's get into this video. In spring of 2021, it was reported that Pete was upgrading his living situation with the purchase of a new condo. While he revealed he fully moved out of his mom's basement, he remained close to home with the purchase of a luxury apartment in his native Staten Island, New York for $1.2 million. It appears to be quite the change of living situation. At the time, the comedian said he found a place of his own during a TikTok chat. He said, I just moved out of my mom's house, he said as he entered his new apartment. I'm fully out, I got a pad. In Pete's defense, at least he did also purchase that home for his mother Amy back in 2019 and it cost him $1.3 million. Pete's deluxe apartment in the sky boasts 1,592 square feet of space with two beds and two and a half baths throughout. The building is located on the water and offers impressive views of Manhattan, so you never feel like you're too far away. It includes a handful of lavish amenities like high ceilings, hardwood floors, and massive windows for perfect lighting. The main living area is open plan and boasts a kitchen, dining room, and living room in a sprawling space. At the time of sale, many of the walls were painted a pale purple color, but my guess is that Pete's changed the look since moving in. The kitchen has been completely redesigned to offer a peninsula seating area perfect for hosting small gatherings, as well as quartz waterfall countertops and updated appliances. This space expands into the dining area and living room where there's a small nook that could double as an office. Since the dining room is open, it makes it easy to entertain and hang out with whoever comes to visit. Just the hallway away, you'll find Pete's master suite where he's no doubt enjoying the comforts of home. The ensuite nearby includes a marble vanity, a jacuzzi tub, a shower, and elsewhere, there's a walk-in closet for his collection of clothes and sneakers. A convenient door in the master bedroom opens up to the private terrace, which boasts scenic views and plenty of space. There's also a table set up here for alfresco dining and overlooking the city. Listing materials show the extra bedroom in the apartment set up for kids with bunk beds, but it can be configured as a guest room, of course. If that's not enough, the amenities in Pete's building include everything from secure doorman entry to a residence lounge, fitness center, a children's playground, as well as grilling stations. In 2019, Pete decided to buy a home with his mom, Amy Davidson, instead of first buying a place for himself. His younger sister also lives there, and the living arrangement was never a secret. The comedian mentioned it a number of times while filming SNL or in interviews, even making some great jokes out of it. According to real estate records, Pete and his mom paid $1.3 million for their home, also located in Staten Island, and the abode offers four beds and four full baths throughout. There's also a private master wing and a custom kitchen. There's a cozy living room when you walk in the multi-level house, offering a brick fireplace and hardwood floors, while the eating kitchen has stainless steel appliances and more. The grand entryway is one of the most impressive spots at the property, as there's a giant stained glass skylight overhead and a curved staircase. 
Pete said in the past about his unconventional living situation, we bought a house together, but nobody believes that. I live with my mom, kinda, so I have like a basement that's like mine, that's like an apartment, so I live underneath her. So I'm getting like a little arcade set up down there, trying to make it mine. He's even offered glimpses into his basement apartment and given a full tour. The setup was pretty impressive for a simple basement and Pete had a large closet area set up with backlights, his own kitchen, a spacious bedroom and more. There was plenty of room to entertain with a TV equipped bar and living room. He even had his own office down there. During his mini house tour, he made sure to point out his Spongebob sweatshirt, his alien named Kevin, his dustbuster and things that were special to him. Well now we've taken a look at where Pete Davidson calls home. We saw his bachelor pad apartment in Staten Island which is only a stone's throw away from his former home with his mom, where the comedian occupied the basement. I mean his basement setup wasn't all that bad, it was pretty fly for a space living underneath your mom. While his high rise in Staten Island is impressive, I have a funny feeling we're going to be seeing more and more of Pete on the west coast. I mean, considering his budding relationship with Kim K, I think he'll be spending a lot more time in LA, and maybe even in her minimalist Hidden Hills mansion. Be sure to let me know what you thought of Pete's cribs in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat because I love hearing from you guys and knowing that you're liking these house tours. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!